Hi, this is Paul David Lampe. I'm the 2008 NLGJA Leroy F. Aarons Newsroom Intern, and I'm reporting from the Oakland Tribune, where I am reporting this summer. This is my awesome desk. As you can see, I'm right outside of the A's Stadium, which I originally thought meant the Angels, but apparently it's the Athletics. The Angels are in Anaheim. Um, from our office, you can see downtown Oakland and San Francisco. Basically, what you're looking at right now, though, is a smudge on the window and um, a foggy uh, downtown San Francisco. So, can't really see it right now, but on uh, sunny days, you can see it pretty well. And uh, this, uh, I'm going to go over the last two weeks. Last week was my birthday, and my editor, Michelle Maitri, gave me this awesome teddy bear. And uh, Angela Hill gave me a tiara, because everybody needs a tiara on their birthday, obviously. And I brought baklava to the office. And then um, last Thursday um, night, I went out with Angela Woodall. She is a reporter, and she has a column called The Night Owl. She was writing about the nightlife at DeLauer's. It was a new stand that was going to close down. Now they're going to apparently turn it into an internet cafe. But um, we were reporting on the nightlife, and apparently there are typically transsexuals that hang out there. Didn't run into any, but um, ran into some people. Uh, Jesse, who apparently was high, but I couldn't quite tell. I met my friend Shalkia and Michaela there, and um, they were pretty, pretty interesting characters. Um, Angela kind of thought that they might be prostitutes, but I wasn't sure. And this week I had to, the opportunity to report on a non-native allergy that was growing in the Bay Area, and I didn't really take my own advice. Last week I filed a photo request, told the multimedia editor and the photographer to wear jeans or pants and um, shoes that were appropriate for being like in muddy areas. Um, I ended up wearing khakis and my tennis shoes and got my khakis all muddy. So remember to take your own advice. This week um, also I reported on three other things. Um, I reported on a artist. Um, I'm actually working on a profile of an artist right now that's going to be finished next week and he works on children's books. Um, he also used to work on graphics work for computer games. I also had the opportunity to write an article about the Black Expo, which is a really cool event. Um, it's been going on for 18 years, but a woman took it over 13 years ago um, because the National uh, Black Expo stopped running, so uh, she took it over. Her name was Diane Howell had the opportunity to speak with her, and I also tragically had the opportunity to report on um, a young child who was four years old who was playing with uh, fireworks yesterday and in his um, home, and his mother wasn't home. The firework exploded in his hand, and um, he's blind in his right eye, lost some fingers in his right hand, and his, um, his eardrum exploded in his right ear. So that was really tragic. I had the opportunity to speak with some community members yesterday and people in the fire department and police department. So all in all, it's been a pretty diverse week in terms of content, and I'm excited for what next week has to hold.